So delegated and reserved powers are commonly confused and misunderstood in government class or in U.S. history class. So here's a quick review. Delegated powers are powers that are for the national and federal government to have here in the United States. And they are given um, to the national government by the Constitution and regulated and framed by the Constitution. And as it was originally set up, um, the powers are supposed to only be from the Constitution. And all other powers are reserved for the state, local government, and ultimately the people. Um, examples of these powers that are still in use today, war, treaties, the Postal Service, our National Mint, settling disputes between states, um, weights and measures. Um, all these are examples of things that the national government does um, by itself um, for the country and for the citizens. Now, on the other hand, are reserved powers. These are powers supposed to be, everything else is supposed to be reserved to be um, for the states, for the local government, and for the people to take care of themselves. And this way, the freedom is protected in the United States. Um, examples of reserved powers for the states are schools, licensing, um, commerce within the state, um, um, among other, um, putting out goods and services, setting up local governments. These are things that the states are supposed to be in charge of within their own borders. So reserved powers are powers that the states are in charge of within their own borders. Delegated powers are powers that come to the national government and the national government is in charge of, given to them by the Constitution. Some powers are shared, like the power of the tax, interstate commerce, our criminal system, and we both have state and national uh, courts and punishment and, and prisons, uh, regulating commerce and, and providing for the general well-being. But the main thing you need to remember is that national powers are called delegated powers and state powers are reserved powers.